Okay, so primate cities, mostly in LDCs or NICs, not exclusive to them, but just mostly there. Okay, and then if they were graphed, it would kind of look like that. It would be drop-offs on the graph. Okay, so not, not like a nice clean line, just like, like steps almost. Okay, so, so this is what a primate city is. This would be like your definition. Okay, it's when one large, large, large city... overrides all others, all the other cities. Okay, so, so think of it kind of like this. It's like the King Kong in that country, okay? Because King Kong is a what? He's a primate, okay? So, so it's like, I don't know, if you want to add that, you can. All right, so it's like the King Kong of the cities, Okay, so let's think about it. If you had a King Kong living in your city and then you had some other little gorillas, who's going to get all the bananas? King Kong. Okay, so it works like that with the city. That one city, that primate city, gets to have all the stuff. Okay, so like infrastructure will go there first. Services will go there first. Schools first. Restaurants first. Doctors first. Hospitals there first. Okay, so it, it gobbles up all the resources in the country. It's uneven. Okay, they get it first. Okay, whatever the primate city is for that country. Okay, so just kind of know that that it, it'll, it, it gets the majority of the resources. So eats up. all the resources. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a few examples. So one example, and this is one that, that you're actually gonna do your FRQ on, okay. Uh, one example is Mexico City. Okay, so Mexico City, and I'm just, I'm rough, I'm like rough estimating here. Okay, Mexico City has about 20 million people. Okay, the next biggest city in Mexico is Guadalajara with 4 million. Let me make sure I spell this right. Okay, so in this case, Mexico City is five times bigger than the next biggest city. And four million is a big city. I mean, that's kind of like a DFW. Okay, but, but to go from that and to jump all the way to 20 million, it would make sense why they would get all the resources because that's where all the people are. Okay, so if you have majority of your people there and you don't give them services, will the people stay? No, so it's kind of like a cycle it gets into. People won't stay, but you kind of need them to stay because that's your money-making city. Okay, so it kind of it kind of gets into a bad cycle there. So that's one example, and that's the one you'll do with your FRQ. Another example is, and this is an MDC, would be France. Okay, Paris. Paris has about 10 million people. And then the next biggest city is Marseille. It looks like Marseille's, but it's Marseille. And they only have one and a half, well, yeah, one and a half to 1.4 million to one and a half, sorry. Okay, that's a huge drop off. That's almost 10 times as big. Okay, so naturally, of course, Paris is gonna get all the stuff, which might be why maybe Paris is the most well-known city in France besides the big, tall, you know, Eiffel Tower. Okay, another one, and this is an MDC too, London. London has seven million. And then their next biggest is Birmingham. Birmingham. And Birmingham really just has about a million. Okay, again, the most well-known city in, in the UK is what? London. London, okay, and that makes sense. That's where all the people are, it's a primate city. Now, I will tell you countries that are not primate city countries, okay? So I'll just give you like a quick list here. Um, let's see, China, 
not a primate city country. All of their big cities are all really, really big and close to each other in number. Okay, um, Brazil is not one. Uh, India. Uh, Canada. And Australia. Okay, these are not primate cities. Now, India is kind of difficult sometimes because they have three really, really big cities. Um, and then, and then there's a huge drop off from there. Okay. So that's why sometimes some will argue back and forth. Well, it could be a primate city, um, country. They just have three. Okay. But, but if we're going to go along the lines of what a primate city is, it's one, just one large city. Okay. So, so there's actually quite, there's three in India and then there's a huge drop off from there. Okay. So now, um, we are not a primate city country. Okay, um, and, and the reason being is because we do uh, metro areas. So sometimes you will see people argue, well, New York could be a primate city. Um, but if, if you look at Los Angeles, which has a lot of people too, so New York, with all of its metro areas and stuff like that, is somewhere around 20 million, okay, or not, not that high, uh, like 16 million. But then so is Los Angeles too when you count all of the metro areas, okay? So we don't really fall under that rule because we do metropolitan areas. So like what I mean by that is like we say DFW, we don't really just say Dallas or, Dallas or Fort Worth, okay? Um, think about it like this, like when you visit somewhere else, um, what's the likelihood of people hearing about Frisco? Well, it might go up now because the Cowboys are here, but um, most of the time you would say you're from where? Dallas. Dallas, okay, and that's our metro area. Okay, so we don't fall under that either, okay? Um, all right, now what we all don't fall under is rank size rule. So we're really not a good example of either one. Okay, so rank size rule is... Um, Mostly, you will see these in MDCs. Not exclusively, but just mostly. Okay, so like the graph for, for um, primate city was like steps. Okay, rank size rule is like a nice incline. Okay, if it were graphed. Nice slope. Okay, now understand it's not going to be perfectly lined up like that, okay? But, but once you get all the population of the city's graphed on there, it kind of looks like that, okay? So don't expect it to be exactly perfect. It just kind of looks like that. Um, okay, so, so now this one's just a little bit more complicated. So this is kind of how you figure this out. So this is the largest... city, and we'll say for country A. Okay, so this is, this is how you do this, all right? So if the largest city for country A was 100,000 people. Oops. Okay, largest city has 100,000 people. Then what you would expect to see in a rank size rural country is for the second largest to be half of that. Okay, so what's half of 100,000? 50,000. So you would expect it to be about 50,000. Okay, and then the third largest would be a third of that, of 100,000. Okay, so you would expect it to be around, yeah, well, that's the one with all the threes, right? Okay, so 33,333, about. Okay, then you would look at the population for the fourth largest city, and you would expect it to be a fourth of the size of the largest city. So that would be 25,000. Okay, I'm not going to get too crazy here, but then you would look at the fifth, and you would expect it to be a fifth of the largest city's population. 
so 20,000. And it keeps following that pattern. So if you were to look at the 10th largest city, what would be about its population? 10,000, because you would expect it to be a tenth of the size of the largest city. So that's the pattern that rank size rule will follow. Now, now understand, it's not going to be exactly perfect, okay? But it's about that, all right? So, so how you figure that is just... It's you're going to take the population, which would be in, okay, right? No, it would be the, I always confuse myself with this. It would be, so that's what you would do. You would take the largest population and you would divide by whatever rank it is, okay? So the rank is the number you divide it by, okay? So if it's a rank size rural country and the population is a million, Okay, what would you expect the 10th largest city's population to be? What? So if the, if the largest city was a million, what would the 10th largest... Yeah, right? Right? That's a, that's, that's a million divided by 10, right? Whatever that is. Okay. So, okay, so, so just know that, so even, e don't let that confuse you or kind of like scare you off, okay? So just, as long as you know the largest city's population and rank size rule, you can figure out about that, that city's population, okay? So, so if they're asking you to figure rank size rule and they say fourth largest city, you would just divide by four for the, the population, okay? Because it ranks four, okay? That's its rank size. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, okay. Uh, a really good example of this is Germany. Germany's cities follow that rule. Okay, Germany is a, a good example. Again, the US, kind of, but we're not the best example of that either because again, we've got the metro areas. So that kind of messes with our numbers a little bit. Okay, so um, now let's think about it. Okay, so if you were a country and you, if you could pick, right, to be a primate city country or a rank size rule country, which one would be better to be? Rank size rule would be the best. Okay, so if you're a country, you want rank size rule. Now, why? What's even? Yeah, money, resources, people, everything. Okay, so you want rank size rule because then you know your city will get some infrastructure and some resources too. Okay, you know that you have a fair amount of people in your city. You know that you're going to get the services. You know you're going to get some funding, right, from your, from your government. Okay, so you want rank size rule for your country because then you're guaranteed that services are not going to be too far out. Like your hexagons are not going to be huge. They're going to be in a manageable size, right, for, for central place theory. Okay, so rank size rule is the best one because you don't want one city gobbling up all the resources. Okay, make sense? Okay, so then last one, let's talk nesting services. So how many of you have ever seen, or maybe even have, some of those nesting dolls, right, where you open it up and there's a smaller one, and then you open and then there's a smaller one. You open that up, smaller one. Okay. Yeah, the Russian nesting dolls. Okay, so think like that because that's what this is. Okay, um, I'm not going to draw some dolls, but all right. So this is like, it's, that's kind of the idea. It's like the nesting dolls. Okay, so it would be like one inside another. Inside another, inside another, it would just keep going. Okay, so I'm going to do four dots. I'm going to make one dot real small, and then I'm just going to get bigger and bigger. So if you kind of want to pre-dot, you can. Okay, so just make sure the next dot is bigger than the last. Bless you. Four. Okay, 
So, so this kind of goes along a little bit, like with Chris Stoller's uh, central place theory, where he talks about, you know, it can get crazy with the hexagon and the hexagon upon the hexagon and the other hexagon next to those hexagons. Okay, so this is kind of how they figure out where the hexagons are going to be, where the central place is. Okay, so cities are like nesting dolls, or, or I guess I should say settlements are like nesting dolls. Okay, the smallest settlement type is called a hamlet. Now, we don't say hamlet, okay? This is, this is going back to the whole German thing, okay? Um, we would say more along the lines of like a little town. Okay, is what we would say. All right, but a hamlet today, if we were going to use an example for today, um, that would be like um, Salina. Salina would be like a hamlet. Whoops, Salina. Okay, um, then if we get bigger, okay, and you get a village. Okay, so the idea would be like if you can't find what you need in your hamlet, okay, then you would go just a little bit further to the village because they might have it, okay? So today a village size would be like Prosper. Okay, but let's say whatever service you're looking for isn't even in Prosper, okay? So then you might need to go a little further, okay? And then you would get into the town. So today, that would be like Frisco. Okay, now, now today, most stuff, I mean, if you need it, Frisco's got it for the most part. Okay, but let's say uh, maybe like you need a special doctor, okay, or you need a specialty hospital, or you want to go see a Mavs game, or, you know, something along those lines. Okay, then that's when you get into the city. Okay, so that's even bigger, all right? And then that would be Dallas. Okay, it makes sense. Okay, so think of things that have even opened up since, gosh, Frisco's just grown so much. Um, think of like, uh, let's see, the hospital, the only hospital we used to have here was what, the one over by Centennial. Mm -hmm. And now there's one just down the street, right, from Wakeland. That's Baylor, isn't it? It's like a like a connection to Baylor, yeah. Okay, um, we didn't even have, like the only movie theater we had was the one in the mall, mm -hmm. and now we've got one down the street here from Wakeland, okay? I mean, think of stuff, like you used to only have one Target, now we've got two, okay? Um, Walmarts, there's like four now in Frisco, okay? So, so think of that though, but that's how they figure out where services are gonna go. Okay, am I gonna open up this new store in Salina? Mm, probably not, because there's not a lot of people there. But I might do Prosper, okay? I mean, there's a Walmart now in Prosper, right? Isn't there? I think so. Um, okay, so, so that's, what, that's what you're thinking about when you think of nesting service. Now, now again, this type of these nesting services, this is really just MDCs. Okay, these are really just MDCs because this is where you start getting into like the whole idea of like suburbs and things like that. LDCs and NICs, they don't do suburbs like we do. Okay, it's not, it's not built the same. If you need something, you're going to go into the city to get it. Okay, if you don't want to go into the city to get it and LDCs and NICs, then you probably don't need it that bad. Okay, so, so like I said, this is mostly going to be MDCs because we're... So we can drive, like we're willing to drive out that far, especially in Texas. I mean, we're willing to drive a little bit farther than some because, well, everything's bigger and farther in Texas. Okay, so, so again, mostly in MDCs. Not exclusive, but, but really you, you won't see that too much in, in LDCs and NICs. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> 